Buongiorno e benvenuti a tutti all'ultimo incontro prima della fine della fiera online. Good morning and welcome to everyone. Today is the last live event arranged for the Marmumac online exhibition. The topics of today will be our in-shop bench saws, from the simple manual model up to the motorized models. The last step before the use of the CNC. All the saws that we will see today have a fixed bridge. So let's start immediately with the first model on my left, which is the ANR. It's a one of a kind. In the market, the existence of other saws in this range, equaling its performance. The beam of this saw, rectified on six faces, where 12 adjustable bearings run, has a special shape with two small horns specifically designed to attain lack of deflection and the greatest cutting accuracy. The bridge can build manually, so as to perform 45 degrees cut. The ANR has a single phase free horsepower motor. A free phase four horsepower version is also available. Useful cut goes from 600 millimeter up to two meters. Absolutely ideal for fabricating perfect seals and steps. The standard model can take a blade diameter from 250 to 350 with a maximum cutting depth of 10 centimeter. It is advisable to use the smallest 250 millimeter blade for cutting such dense and hard materials as granite and the 300 or 350 millimeter blades for softer materials like marble and other stone of similar hardness. For those who need to cut thicker pieces, we can offer the HT version, specifically designed with higher shoulders. This version permits to use blade diameters from 400 to 500 millimeters with a cutting depth of 17 centimeter. Head travel is manual and a special extension handle can be used to help hand pull. Cutting depth adjustment is not by plunge cut as seen in the construction saws described before yesterday. However, available on special order. But by means of two threaded bars that warranty a much smoother and precise adjustment, offering much improved cutting accuracy. The work table is made of galvanized steel rails covered with rubber on special order and it is available in two versions with a standard width of 53 cm like the model we have here in our showroom or a heavy duty table width of 65 cm. One of the rails is always removable to allow better cleaning of the tank and the water recycling system. The saw comes with one or two side extension tables according to the length of the machine as well as an adjustable angle square. This model offers the possibility of mounting an optional slot device for horizontal cuts and straight edge profiling. This special kit, also available as a retrofit for older saws, can turn out very useful when having to produce ventilated facades, window sills and steps. The kit also includes an independent self-contained water tank to be mounted straight in the rear side of the saw and a dedicated electric motor for this specific application that obviously cannot work simultaneously with the main saw motor. Slot blades are 200 mm in diameter and shaped wheels with 22.2 mm bore can also be mounted. In addition, the ANR can accommodate multiple blades divided by special spacers for processing skid-proof grooves on step surfaces. On special order, the saw can be manufactured with a longer shaft electric motor, permitting to use more blades together and perform such grooving works. Of course, it will not be possible 
when using multiple blades, but just carry out surface grooving. A large fabricator's demand for being independent in cutting full slabs lead us to develop a line of heavy-duty heavy duty fixed bridge saws with a cutting capacity over 3,000 mm and variable features. A heavier duty bridge design offers greater cutting accuracy over the longer length of cut and it is advisable to use this type of saws when cutting full slabs. All of these models are available with a long list of optional accessories and designed to make fabricators job easier, more accurate and most efficient. The AFR and the TFR saws feature the same bridge size as the ANR, but with larger beam section. The AFR line is available with manual or motorized at travel. Let's start from the manual version, the AFR-C. The cutting head is moved forward and backward by means of a hand crank placed at the far right end of the saw, which the operator turns to pull the blade through the material to be cut. Blade depth also adjusted by hand crank on two rectified and chrome columns and on a steel screw with a brass nut. The AFRC is available with a three-phase four horsepower electric motor, 2,800 or 3,400 RPM, according to the country where it is used. Useful cut goes from 1,500 millimeters to 3,500 millimeters. The model we have here is the three meters version. Blade diameter from 250 to 350, with a cutting depth of 10 cm. For those who need to cut thicker pieces, the HD version is available with higher shoulders and a larger blade diameter from 400 to 500 mm with a cutting depth of 15 cm. The HD version has a 5.5 free phase motor at 1400 or 1700 RPM according to the country where it is used. Let's now compare the technical details I have just described to you with the motorized version, AFRA. Maintaining the same cutting capacity in terms of depth and length, we immediately notice that the motorized version is for sure more robust. We notice it in the frame, especially in the section of the beam. in the strength of the leg and also in the sides of the side extension tables. AFRA is a great saw for fabricating one to three kitchens per week and it is outstanding for repetitive production work. More powerful than the manual version the standard model has a 7 horsepower electric motor at 2,800 or 3,400 RPM according to the country where it is used. While the HD version is, is the same as for the manual version. The motorized model AFRA offers an optional variable speed inverter to adjust the main motor rotation speed based on the type of material to cut. Let's not forget the advantage offered by almost all Achilles saws to use multiple blade diameters. Thanks to the design of our blade guard, customer can use the correct blade diameter based on the peripheral speed requested by each material being cut. Both models are manufactured with work cable made of galvanized steel rails on special order. The addition of rubber coating on the work table facilitates processing of thin materials such as large form of ceramic and porcelain slabs.
These models can be optionally equipped with a laser alignment device, an adjustable angle square, and special side extension tables fitted with rollers. Both saws have a built-in water tank with recycling pump. The frame is protected by epoxy powder paint and on special order the water tank can be galvanized before painting so as to warranty a longer life. The bridge is tilted manually so as to perform degree cutting in the rear side of the saw. At the two far ends of the saw, you have two retractable levers that facilitate bridge tilting. A few optional accessories can be used with the AFR. The slot device for horizontal cutting and straight edge profiling as described on the ANR model with, of course, a longer self-contained water tank according to the model length where the device will be used. The optional device for parallel cuts that controls the movement of the side stop thus facilitating the execution of parallel cuts. The side stop is adjusted parallel to the cutting line by means of a special hand wheel, so as to avoid repeated trial and error manual measurements. Adjustment is displayed by a position indicator. Another very useful accessory for processing thin materials is the pneumatic piece fixing system. This device is composed of six pneumatic pistons requiring a connection to the compressed air. The device covers a length of 2,500 milliliters. It can be fixed on the standard side stop of the machine or on the device for parallel cuts. We are now seeing this device which has been used on a larger model, TFM, which we will be describing later, but the same device can be used on the AFR that we have just described. Also, the structure of the AFR is durable, looks heavy beauty enough, and factually offers a very good value for money Sometimes fabricators may look for a more robust machine with a work table designed for pop-up rollers to help them load and position heavier slab. For this reason, we have created the TFRA, a hybrid model. While featuring the same bridge has an electrical panel as the AFRA, it has a heavier duty work table designed for the TFM saw, which we will describe now. The only limit, if we can call it a limit, is the useful cut that cannot be any longer than 3 meters and 300. Let's focus then on the work table, made of hot galvanized metal sheet rails. It is not manufactured with a built-in water tank, but can be equipped with a hydraulic roller table featuring 32 multidirectional rollers. The water tank with recycling pump is a separate unit to be ordered separately as an optional accessory. The work table is supplied with six side table extensions, 420 mm in length, that can be mounted in different table positions on both the front and the rear sides of the machine.
Some other optional accessories are also available on special order, such as the adjustable angle square. The device for parallel cuts we have seen before. As well as the side extension table with rollers. But now let's see a more complete description of the TFM model by looking, above all, at the bridge, where we immediately notice the leaping quality compared to the previous model. The TFM is manufactured with a really special beam design. It's ground, foam and tension with tie rods that allow to keep it perfectly straight throughout the entire life of the saw. The head runs on angled rack and pinion. It raises and lowers on two chromed steel columns and a threaded rod. Unlike all so models described earlier, where mic rings performed by tilting the entire bridge, the TFM cuts 45 degrees by rotating the head. This includes the possibility of step cutting at 45 degrees. It has a three phase ten horsepower motor with 1400 or 1700 RPM according to the country where the saw is used. Available blade diameter is from 300 to 400 or 400 to 625. Useful cut is 3 meter. Maximum cutting depth is 21 centimeter. The model with 625 millimeter blade is often used in the funeral industry, which working thick materials may also need to be step cut. On special order, we can equip the TFM with an optional PLC control unit that will allow to program and automate the step cutting along the Z-axis. We have arrived to the end of this live. We thank uh, all of you to have participated uh, in this event. We have arranged this year for the first time. We hope you have been many. Uh, we are always at your disposal for any further information, requests, uh, or anything you want to discuss with us. So contact us today on our online stand. In the next days, to our usual contact, you can find on our website www.achille.com. Thank you again. Grazie a tutti per aver partecipato. Ci vediamo l'anno prossimo. Ciao a tutti.